Hello, Velociraptor here for Event Hubs, and first and foremost, this guide is timestamped, so you can quickly jump to whatever super you're wanting to take a closer look at right now. But there are some important bits of information in this introduction that you won't want to skip. In Street Fighter VI, the super combo mechanic is more fleshed out than ever before, as every character has three at their disposal. Not only this, but supers play a more defined role in the meta as they're used in tandem with the game's drive system. Street Fighter VI is filled to the brim with knowledge checks, and while punishing supers has traditionally been a fairly straightforward and obvious process, it's become something you need to do your homework on or else you risk missing out on massive, often round-winning opportunities. Luckily, we've done the bulk of said homework and put together a quick reference guide to punishing each and every super in the game if and when they're done as wake-up reversals. You'll learn which supers are strikes versus which are grabs, how many hits you'll need to block before you can punish, and how fast your punishes will need to be. First, the three P's, punish counter, parry, and plus frames from Drive Rush. Punish counter. Supers have a lot of recovery frames, and so you'll naturally be hitting your opponents with punish counter combos, meaning the first hit will have an extra four frames of advantage, which leads to more elaborate combo potential. Next up is parry. If you're dealing with a strike super, it's almost always better to parry than to block simply because absorbing the hits via parry will contribute back to your drive gauge while absorbing them via blocking will chip away at it. Also note that you don't actually want to perfect parry here because that'll cause your punish combo to dole out significantly less damage. Finally, being in the parry state sets you up perfectly to simply double tap forward to get plus frames from drive rush. Drive rushing tacks on another four frames to your initial hit, making you a whopping extra plus eight when you start your punish. This means that you can string together otherwise impossible moves, such as two heavy buttons in a row. The other advantage to drive rush is that it's the fastest way to get maximally close to your foe for a full punish, something that's sometimes required depending on the unique movements of the particular super. As you'll see in the examples, most supers have long enough recoveries for you to punish with a DR combo, though you'll have to settle for a standing punish for some. And with that, let's jump into the guide. 